John Eric. Media. 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 Here we go. All you ladies, pull your chichis out. This is the JP Lopez show. Also, if you're a transgender boy or pet girl, this is the JP Lopez show. Telosico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back to the JP Lopez show. Uh, I got. Puga, I got Adam on the show. What's up, guys? What's what up? up? Um, fucking happy to have you back on, brother. Hell yeah, man. Uh, Thank you for that. Glad, glad we worked shit out and got you on. Yeah, yesterday was a motherfucker. Little bit yeah. Dude, Thank you. Um, it's, it's good to be back, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck you, Adam. <laughs> uh, kind of glad we I, didn't. Hey, I love you, too, bro. Oh, I'm kind of glad we didn't record yesterday. Fucking poured last night, huh? Oh, it's going oh, bad, yeah. bro. Yeah. Oh, I went to Abilene for oh, you, you over, did? over there and back. Yeah. Fucking, it was fucking peeing out of its asshole last night. That Shit. Lightning, dude. Yeah. We parked that. I went to uh, Jay's family a little later. And um, I was sitting there outside waiting for the rain to chill. Well, <laughs> you waited forever. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and the fucking lightning struck. Like, you know how it strikes and it yeah. waits a few seconds and, like, and fuck, no, and that motherfucker, boom. Man, you all scared? Yeah, I held my own, fuck dude. Man. No, no joke, bro. Yeah, no is. joke. Right. The way to get this motherfucker pissed off at you, I, I'm a, I'm gonna release it to everybody. That's fucked up. Just, just anything, no? No, no. Just tell this motherfucker tornadoes coming. Oh shit! <laughs> nah, man, fuck that. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Fucking Tommy, dude. Tommy fucks me with that. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy has sent me some storms, and he knows how I am with tornadoes too, man. Like fuck well, that. You, 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 you scared of tornadoes? <laughs> man, I don't know what it is. What's that's your biggest fear? You're not sharks or snakes, it's fucking tornadoes. I mean, I don't know no snake. I don't, I don't want a snake and. No, I'm saying your biggest fear, tornado. Uh, it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't know why, man. And you know what? And I pay so much attention to the fucking weather. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, uh, and. Dude, I want to see a tornado. I want to. I want to drive to it and go see it whenever there's you, one down. Like a storm chaser. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That, I want to go bro. see it. I don't know, man. That's. Yeah. I want to go see it. No, you cool, got balls, man. bro. Uh, I, I mean, because. Okay, so we're in storm season, mm -hmm. and this storm season from from when I was a kid, it always reminds me of being a kid, at my grandpa's watching the Rangers, because it's right out of school. You're about to finish school for the summer, fucking living at my grandparents, and he always watched the Rangers, and then always thunderstorms. But well, I tell you that because I don't have a fear of thunderstorms. But I think I'd fucking shit my pants if I was a storm chaser. Shit, dude. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, my mom worked at LISD, the home office. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I would call her, dude. Uh, when I get home from school and I'd see clouds, I'd call her, Mom, is there a tornado coming? I'm scared <laughs> shitless, bro. See, by myself. Like, hey, just me? I was by, not, not no more. Oh. I'm grown up now. <laughs> grown now. I was 10, fucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> Some of us grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> I had a buddy that used to work in the oil field, and uh, he didn't do anything oil specific. He installed uh, fiber for the communications for, I guess, the oil pumps or whatever. And they were out there installing fiber, bright, sunny day, like no fucking clouds, no no sign of a storm coming, and he said within 30 minutes a tornado came. And uh, the they, calm before the storm, yeah, man. and they hauled ass to his truck, and that was their only shelter was his truck, him and his work partner. And he said that he had to call his wife; she didn't answer. So the tornado is like, like being a ripping the fuck out of his truck, just shaking his truck, and he's texting the, "I love you, sorry that." She's I'm not going to see you no more. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about my funeral. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then she was probably sucking some dude's dick. Stop. <laughs> when she received it. God, dang it. <laughs> I think I'm late text. <laughs> what, what's that side eye, bro? My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you know them hoes ain't loyal. Uh, she's sitting over there. These guys are talking nasty. Hey, hey, don't put me in that. I haven't said nothing wrong yet. So she stopped sucking. Yet. She stopped sucking dick to see that her husband almost died. Uh, 
headphones from my daughter over there. <laughs> Earmuffs. Earmuffs. <laughs> I brought my daughter to the wrong show, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. Mom. Can like, but Turn off the music. <laughs> going back to that, like, can you imagine sending the "I'm about to die" text to anyone? Like, that's some scary shit, man. man like, yeah. 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 Especially a tornado. Huh? Man. I swear I'm out running one. I don't care what anybody says. You it's been fucking anymore. pouring fucking cats and dogs in your area, though. No, it actually misses us. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, <laughs> oh, San Antonio, San Marcos, and it just like right, misses us right there, dude. I'll be down. Yeah. We, I mean, there's been storms down there. Because they've been having a shit ton of rain. And uh, even uh, Canyon Lake, they only have uh, two of the docks open, which they have a shitload of docks over there, but there are only two of them open. So trying to get in that lake right now is fucking horrible. What What's Canyon Lake? I'm not being smart ass. Canyon like, Lake is a, uh, a big lake over there. And, uh, that's not where you float the river, right? No. It's, no, it's no, a, no. It's it's a lake. lake. Yeah, that one, it makes fucking Buffalo look That's the tiny Roswell's, spot. right? Or the Frio River? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and, never been there? No, I never, I've never uh, been to Canyon Lake. And I, and I just recently heard two people tell me about Canyon Lake. Dude, and I thought, nice. like, like. Uh, the water's clear and shit? Like, cat, like, what is it? It's clear? Yeah, bro. It's, Fucking, it's nice, man. Yeah, it's 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 a nice ass lake. Hey, uh, but it's fucking deep as fuck. Have you ever been to uh, uh, Schlitterbahn? Mm-hmm. All right, Schlitterbahn is fed by a the, the uh, river, right? Yeah, it's right by the river. It's right by that river. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, the lazy river goes into the into the mm-hmm. lake, and then you can get back into the park, right? Fucking Mexicans. <laughs> I was yeah. Uh, you sneak in like that. <laughs> yeah, I was in front of my dad. My dad, my dad was uh, uh, scared of. Lakes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Snakes and all that, right? Mm-hmm. I was in front of him, and we get off into the lake, and he's like, we're going to the lake. I was like, yeah, it goes into the lake. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, <laughs> right? Dude, I'll walk. <laughs> dude, he throws me off of my float just so that way he can get back into the park, and he's like, I'm going to float down the river. I like. He's like, without a float? <laughs> like, this motherfucker, man. That's bad. For real, dude. <laughs> my you own dad. That's fucking. That's fucking <laughs> hey, I uh, hope you make it back, son. <laughs> I have to go Toodaloo. to the. I have to go down the stream a little bit to get back into the park, and then I have to walk all the way around. Can he I? had my he had my float and everything. He grabbed both floats and he jumped back into the, into the park and left me alone. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a snakes and uh, those fucking alligator guard. Yeah. They're over there too, man. Uh, yeah, he was scared shit. I seen a YouTube video of like people in Mexico eating that alligator guard. Really? Mm-hmm. It looked good. Uh, I don't. Starting you'll have COVID. to tell me after <laughs> you'll have to tell me after it's cooked and after i ate it like you just ate alligator gar because i wouldn't know if i'd eat that shit probably tastes like chicken uh, <laughs> it's the carne of the of, <laughs> of the, the sea? lake of, of the, the sea? river is fucking nice man it is nice yeah yeah uh jordan bass lives over there no shit. yeah he mm. called he called me and uh we're just shooting the shit and he oh, said okay. that he moved to canyon lake and and I, when people say Canyon Lake, I think like Ransom Canyon or uh, Caprock Canyon. Mm. I yeah, yeah, I, it's it's nice. Yeah, you gotta leave like, Love It, bro. <laughs> I told Raquel, come on. Fuck you, man. <laughs> you don't have to go outside, dude. Uh, <laughs> I I made a vow to my marriage because she loves the sun to like get the fuck out. We went to Florida. We went to Cabo. And it, I was dying the whole time. But, Sweating balls. But it was okay because I was like, you know, she loves the sun. That was last year. So this year's my year. Fuck that. So y'all going to, <laughs> y'all going to Carlsbad right. Caverns? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the science spectrum. <laughs> they have a nice alligator gar. Uh. <laughs> You're going to go to Critter Fest? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's outside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry. No, yeah, man. Um, uh, you know what uh, sparked up a memory was um, I think we were watching a movie, the um, the Nike uh, Air Jordan shoe. Air. Air. Have you seen it? Yeah, Air? I haven't seen it. You hadn't yeah. seen it. Uh, and what brought a, me- a memory up was uh, he was waiting on a phone call, and you remember back in the day when we didn't have call waiting. And you needed to get a hold of someone. Oh. You're like, God damn it, Adrian, get off the fucking right. phone. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> busy, busy. 
Adrian's all asleep with Iris on the phone. You're like, fuck, man. <laughs> Tell your mom to get caught waiting, puto. Dude, my grandma always unhooked the phone, bro. So, because being on the phone raised the phone bill. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> Y'all didn't have a limited minute, bro. So you say, you didn't talk after nine? This, this, no, this is a landline. This is a, this is a home phone. Grandma oh, tripping. My grandma would unplug. She would, dude, I was like, what the? It would be busy, busy like it. Oh, I thought it was because you're on the phone with Iris, man. No, dude, she would, because it would relate if I had to pick it up real fast, man. For real, bro. And she would just say because it already cost too much. Like, you, you said ring late, and it made me think of another memory. Remember turning off all the phones and then having that one phone that would just light up when it rang? Oh, yeah, the that clear was phone? Your, yeah, the clear phone? The clear yeah. phone. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. that phone. I had that phone. <laughs> Hell but yeah. yeah, I remember that shit, man. I was like, God damn, you calling people you're like, fuck, get off the phone. I'm trying yeah. to place a fucking order. <laughs> Tommy's and shit, busy. <laughs> fuck. He hungry and lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I was lonely, fucker. My mom went to work and my dad went to work. I was there by myself all summer. Oh. Fuck. I need to place that order. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the pink store down the street. Dude, another thing <sighs> that would piss him off is uh, when he'd, uh, we'd get ready to go out. And you're going to make your rounds to pick everybody up. <laughs> Say it, puto. What's that? <laughs> He'd be like, <laughs> Say it, man, fucking make sure you're ready, man. I'm like, I'm ready. I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. And he'd be sitting outside my house. <laughs> fucking hot, bro. I've left his ass a few times. <laughs> and then he learned his lesson. And I stopped playing. <laughs> This motherfucker <laughs> would say, come pick me up. I'm ready. And I'm still waiting outside for 25 fucking minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So then I would tell him, dude, if you're not fucking ready, I'm leaving. Nah, man, I'll be ready. And I didn't, Honk. I didn't believe him. Ready. Mm. Boom. Boom. Gone. Where you at? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sorry ass friends. You have to rub one out before uh, you And then uh, not, not too long after that, he started working at Cisco. So... Um, you would only, I don't know how the fuck it worked, but you would work half a day on Friday or some shit, mm -hmm. and then you'd have to, and then you'd go out after that. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's like, hey, man, you bring me some food? It's like, fuck yeah, man, wait for me outside. Okay. He's like, where the fuck you at? I was like, uh, I'm at the bar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Leroy's uh, sight salad, huh? Asshole, man. He's all, you bitch, I was waiting outside for your fucking ass. Oh, my bad. Starving, I you, I starving like a like I thought you knew better, bro. <laughs> like, wait for me outside. It's fucking Friday, dude. <laughs> like, hell yeah. My boy's coming. <laughs> Man, that was easy. He's like, hell yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, never got that. Yeah. Back to work on a hungry stone. You missed the Lubbock Cisco days? No. To watch the, the boxing matches outside? <laughs> 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 no, Adrian called me He's like Man you know who got the ass <laughs> and, and then blah 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 Like yeah I did He's like yeah They fought right after work man <laughs> Should do that McLean's they were fighting the trucks They in the trucks For real Overnight God They dang. get pissed off at each other Find people In the trucks In the trucks You can't move there mm -hmm. It's just straight chingossos mm -hmm. like that Man over here lately Dude it's been So we got Uh like a lot of Cubans and a lot of Me like Mexican Mexicans, you know what I mean? Different rice and bean eating yeah, motherfuckers. Bars. These motherfuckers. <laughs> White rice. <laughs> and they all carry blades, bro. Oh shit. Dude and Oh yeah, coño. Akumi? 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 ¿Qué dices? You mara vaca yo. You mara vaca. ¿Qué dices? Akumi? Check it out. They get they get crazy, bro, for real. Man, I'm like I don't even like fiestas. <laughs> like, man. And every time you're in Spanish, like, I'm about to cut this motherfucker. Like, and then you're all cut him, fool. Cut him. Right? Like, cut me. Hey, this fool says, ¿Qué? ¿Qué me dices? <laughs> man, bro, it's, it, gets, it gets crazy up there for real. Like, there's Fuck, been, there's been bro. a few situations to where they're like, Yo, I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, I'm and I'm trying to record, man. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> World star. <laughs> But it, it happened so fast. I'm like, who's, what, what the hell's going on? You're all late. Y'all's yeah, so. warehouse constantly <laughs> has a zero day. It's been zero days since the right. last yeah. uh, <laughs> accident. No safety days. <laughs> no safety days. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, check this out. Uh, 
the, <laughs> and it was uh, actually two weeks ago. Uh, the Lumpen Service. Uh, there's a guy um, who got, and he was the lead man of the Lumpen Service. What is that to unload trucks? Yeah, yeah, to unload the trucks. So uh, he got mad at his boss because he didn't want to do a truck because the pallets were sideways and he was at the down stack and all this other shit, right? So he was like, "I'm not working." He hadn't done shit all day. I'm not going so to go to work to work. He gets pissed <laughs> off at this dude, and he starts cussing at this dude when he gets in his face. And I guess that dude kind of, like, pushes him away. This dude pulls his blade out, bro, and then spits in his face. And cool me? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I was just like, I see a knife, and then you spit my leg. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> you're all drop. You're fumbling your phone <laughs> right. and shit. Fuck! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I didn't get to record that one either, man. Yeah. I'm too slow with it, man. But- <laughs> Dude, it, like it's, it's, I'm like, I thought I was crazy at this. So y'all, y'all, y'all. You're like, man, I'm straight here. Yeah, I've heard, if I've they heard ever stories about me. you at this one. Oh, hell. Huh? I said, I've heard stories about him at this one. Oh, really? At Cisco, yeah. From, not from me, right? No, not oh, from me. Oh, I was about to say, no, I, you didn't I work with said it. shit. No, you don't work with <laughs> me. He worked with you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he almost fired me. Really? No. Yeah. Yeah, no. I called in sick. And then he called me to verify I was sick and I was at Decker lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a doctor's <laughs> note. Whatever, put those. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, he didn't get not one shit working over here, bro. Hey, that, bro. Hey, bro. I worked with him too. He didn't give one shit over there either. <laughs> Neither did I. It's kind of my motto. <laughs> All right. Right? Kind of, kind of like not giving a shit. We were the assholes of the group. Yeah. This motherfucker, the everyone thinks that I I fuck with him about Taliban because how he looks. <laughs> no, nah, it, it it's not how he looks. This motherfucker was straight up throwing uh, rocks and tapes for twelve hour shifts, dude. You just always see him, shwa, shwa, and then uh, people are on the forklift and he, you see him hauling ass and throwing shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I'm having fun, Man. bro. You gotta make it fun. I'm man. having fun. You gotta make it fun. We would always fuck with each other out there too, man. <laughs> Me, Tommy, fucking Bobby. I, I think I when the time. job is shit, like, you have to make you gotta it fun. You got to make it fun. Yeah. 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 And then we had shitty out. We worked night shit, bro. So yeah. it kind of sucked, man. Then we, we go in on Sundays. But you worked in the freezer. Me and Bobby. Like, whew, I mean, well, I'm, hey, Tommy was in there, too. I'm a warm-blooded motherfucker, but fuck, hey, man, that's cold. Like, the winters where we worked at, fuck, that shit was cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit, be sitting there outside with a gun and hands start cramping like that. Yeah, like, it's time to go inside. <laughs> and then that's when we would always party. Me and Bobby go in there and do we laying down in the slots? Like, man. I ain't lying, bro. Hurting, bro. And then he's my supervisor and has the nerve to tell me I need to work harder. <laughs> ain't that a bitch? Fuck you, man. Went in drunk like him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hey man, you didn't pull enough cases. Fuck you, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff loved your ass. <laughs> Uh, you better tell them other motherfuckers to suck your dick. Because <laughs> I ain't motherfucker. Well, mom. Adrian, I was looking for a job when I found this one, bro. Hey, hey she ain't got no AirPods. Yeah. <laughs> she's ignoring us. Yeah, man. Fuck. Ignore us, mom. It's crazy. It's crazy. You knew what it was when you signed up, fucker. <laughs> Hey, hey, bro, y'all I, pulled up, and I was like, you brought his daughter? <laughs> well, I told him before. Was, Good luck. <laughs> we're at the pool, and I was like, is, is it cool? And I was, he was like, yeah. Yeah, I was like. Hey, baby, I'm just going to play some music for you. <laughs> Stay in the car, okay? Because <laughs> this fucker's an idiot. <laughs> She's like, that's not the same guy that took my picture. <laughs> he didn't talk like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that Mike Epps um, stand up when uh, when he says uh, that homeboy that's married when he's all man where the bitches at man where the bitches at and then when he's finally with his wife he's all that motherfucker don't act like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you uh, did you ever live off of um, overdraft when you were younger? Actually, uh, Wells Fargo. They have that uh, direct deposit advance. I lived off that shit yeah, too. I lived off yeah. that shit, and then the next, the, the next paycheck, they would take it, it went off. Back to your, it went back and to there zero. I was on the computer, <laughs> going and requesting it again. And and what it was like, it was like what five dollars per twenty or some dumb yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It, what, yeah. Did you ever do that Man, dumb shit? Yes. Oh, dude, I think I think um, 
I think well, I still I owe that. Wells Fargo money. Uh, I, think I'm <laughs> I might be in the red right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Matter of fact, what, what I, bank is that? I, I, I think I didn't get my mortgage because of that. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, uh, it was probably like early 2000s. Oh, yeah. uh, I did it so much that um, they stopped it. Yeah, they took it away from and, you, huh? And then so I got paid. It went back to like the zero balance for the whatever the fuck it was called. What did you say? Overdraft? Something? The direct deposit advance. Advance, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then so I call them and I'm like, hey, man, I'm trying to request the advance. And they were like, you've done it so many times that we've deactivated that feature. And I was like. But I just got paid. <laughs> <laughs> they just took my money. <laughs> you got about two dollars and fifteen cents. You go ahead, and knock yourself. <laughs> hey, go take, go pay the two dollars fifteen cents. Go take Adrian something to eat. <laughs> yeah. I'll still be waiting, motherfucker. Adrian's waiting for me outside. Hold up, I'll be right back. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Can't wait for outside. Yeah, man. And then yeah. so. Um, I was like, fuck Wells Fargo. And I went to Citibank and that was that oops. Remember oops? Oh, yeah. So I, I did protection that. Program. And I was irresponsible with that shit, too. And I think like my oops limit was like 600 bucks every fucking time, dude. I was like, oh, I got money. Fucking every fucking. <laughs> as long as I got checks, I got money, bro. My mother kept saying oops every paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> And they took that feature away from me too, and nah. that that shit was like uh like ten dollars a transaction yeah. or some dumb shit like that. And I, my dumbass still did that shit. Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Uh, what was a long time ago? April Chavez. Remember she worked at Wells Fargo. Oh. I would fucking hit her up and be like, "You think you can reverse?" All 20 of these uh, overdraft fees. All 20? God. <laughs> She's like, I can do two. <laughs> All right, let's do two. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Peter Sanchez has taken care of me like that. For real? Yeah. yeah. yeah back in the day. <laughs> like that fucking two. I ain't seen him, man. When Shout I, out to Peter Sanchez. When I worked at uh, Singular, I would hook up people with their bills, too. Like, man, fuck these fuck fucks. <laughs> fucking crediting $300, $400 on their bill. God. Yeah. And then the next month they'd be like, "Hey, can you do it?" Nah, fucker! Like, yeah, learn your a, lesson. That was a one-time thing. I learned mine. <laughs> learn yours. <laughs> and then they uh, they did an audit. They ran. They like hired people to go in there, and what got them caught was when you work for Singular Wireless, you got a free phone. I never took that free phone because they would, if you got the free phone, they checked your call records. So if you were calling that number frequently and crediting that phone number oh okay then oh, they fired dude like half the call center got fired and i would have too but i never took the free phone yeah uh, because i've always been like you know big brothers watching like fuck they, that they yeah. just did that shit to cash all these money oh yeah that, that was a yeah. that was a setup like a motherfucker yeah that's crazy yeah so i had my job still <laughs> and then i quit <laughs> then you quit <laughs> <laughs> you're like i remember that. i don't give a fuck hey, hey how did you quit? So quit how did you quit uh singular yeah i think i got fired you got fired. That was one. That's one of the few jobs that I got fired from. You ever been fired? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell the story? Nope. <laughs> at, uh, at Singular, uh, you know those. You, did you ever work there? No, I never. So every time you called in, they called in an occurrence, and I think you had like a bank of six occurrences a year or some shit. And I called in. It was supposed to be my fifth occurrence, and I was like, well, I got one more. And then I called in, and one was rolling off, so I was like, okay, I got two more. And they were like, no, one never rolled off. And I was like, it was supposed to. I'm like, no. So you've exceeded your occurrences, and they gave me the boot. I was there like five years. Damn. Did you a favor? Yeah. Oh, fuck, for sure, bro. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I probably, yeah, who knows when I would have fucking he left went, that place. He went to go work. For the company, uh, as a dispatcher for another company. Oh. And I was still working in the warehouse, you know, the oh, same yeah, warehouse, yeah, right? Okay. And uh, I pissed off the manager so bad, bro, that he started coming after me. For real, with yeah. little shit. Yeah. Nit-picking. Little shit, little shit, nitpicking, and then he started writing me up. Well, we had a tattletale though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had he he found out that um all of us were making more money than him. Yeah. And he he didn't do shit to begin with, 
But then he got pissed when he found out all of us, me, he Adam, did. and Leroy, were making way yeah. more money than he him. He worked longer than we did, and we were starting off making more than he did. Like five oh, bucks more. Yeah. Yeah, a lot more. I would have told on y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> but but bro his work ethic was shit dude like he didn't deserve like, yeah yeah he didn't deserve as much as we were making and yeah he was the he was the warehouse tattletale yeah because every time we find we we figured it out every time we would like hide somewhere to chill the boss man would come out and that fucker would never uh, come out he would yeah. never come out yeah he, he he'd go look and then you see him go up the stairs to the boss and that's what i told adam yeah. That's why I told Adam, I said, look, we're going to chill. Watch this fucker's going to go inside the office. And like two minutes later, Jason's going to come out. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay. And then he walked in the office. And then two minutes later, Jason came out. He's fucking snitching on us. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. I, I, I think I got fired because when he tried to write me up, I told him to stick it in his ass. <laughs> that's probably a. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and so he's like. They fire you for anything he now. Said, <laughs> he said, doesn't matter. You're going to get it anyway. So I don't give a shit. Stick it in your ass. And I walked out of his office, and then the next day he called me in. I'm going to write you up again. I said, for what this time? Can't it's remember. And then he was like, uh, I need you to sign right here. I already told you, you can stick it in your ass. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you out. Like, Come on, walk me out. He sent somebody else to walk me out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, need extra, we need extra security in here. You're and afraid then, of this micro little mini pit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and then he yelled. Then he yelled on my way out when somebody was following me. Don't let him touch anything electronic. I can fuck up his world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude was the worst fucking boss ever, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, worst boss ever. That sucks, man. And then we worked with Leroy. And that was even worse. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm he just playing. A, I'm joking. He was a I'm shitty joking. dude. No, nah, Leroy, he, Leroy worked. He was he, cool. He always begged for a side salad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and and like you, we never brought it. <laughs> Fucking assholes. I feel your pain, Leroy. You stupid well, dick. How, how long did we work with Leroy and he was on prep? Uh, and not one time that motherfucker get on stage. Like, I mean, I mean, weeks you prepping, bro. When is this fucking bodybuilding contest? Hey, hey, bro. <laughs> he wouldn't go to lunch. He wouldn't clock. You don't have to clock out for lunch if you don't leave. Mm -hmm. We would go to lunch and be like, hey, bring me a side salad. So we would, we did a couple of times. And then we started noticing, like, this fool is not, he's eating. On the and, clock. And not even clocking out. Yeah. Like, we're clocking out to go get something to eat. Yeah. So we're just being a bitch and bringing it to him. <laughs> and so finally, out, he was being like. Being a bitch or being a friend? He was like, hey. <laughs> hey. That's, that's called being cool. He's like, hey, I man. Uh, those. I, I told him, I was like, hey, man, uh, we forgot to bring, you will go get his side salad. We're already back at work. He said, man, fuck Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Leroy was like, with my side salad. He's like, oh, man, they ran out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. But, well, you remember why I said that, though, right? Because remember, we, we finished eating, and then we went to Burger King to get a fucking 99-cent side yeah, salad. it was 99 And it was bro. like fucking 10 cars deep yeah. on the damn drive-thru. That's what I was like, man, fuck Leroy, <laughs> man, for a fucking dollar salad. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> we should have got smart and brought a bag Thanks, of fucking salad. <laughs> Here, fucker. Yeah, no, that, that means going to United or Market Street. Fuck that. Uh, we had a we had a boss. He he never. He would stand next to you and be like, uh, "Hey, hey, grab that. Hey, uh, put put that. Hey, motherfucker, you do it, man. Yeah. Fuck out of here. He was the worst yeah, fucking boss. He man. was. He was a piece of shit. He would call you on the. Uh, the intercom system so if you weren't right there by the phone he, he wouldn't get up to call you he'd just be calling you all day on it yeah and then somebody would answer hey can you call them over here real quick and yeah. then go up and he'd be like what's going on what the fuck yeah. i just came all the way up here for nothing if anybody knows jason kearney please send him my love and tell him to go fuck himself there you go <laughs> There you go. I hope he, I hope he gets show him, show him this part of the I podcast. I hope he gets diarrhea. He ain't got no fucking toilet paper. <laughs> tell him uh, we send him our love and tell him to go fuck himself. Wow. <laughs> There's that I don't give a shit attitude. <laughs> He's the one that brought it out. With love. Right? <laughs> I mean that. Yeah, I mean that. <laughs> With a lot of love, puto. Nah, he brought it out of us, dude. Fucking, yeah. uh, speaking of Leroy's punk ass, I, was, I remember uh, one time I was asking him. He's doing his thing, man. He's Hell yeah, good, he man. is. He's Fuck good. yeah. I asked him a while back, and I asked about a uh, meal, meal, meal prep and shit like that. And I was asking him, uh, 
like, man, I'm fucking eating a shitload, man, and I'm not gaining no weight. Uh-huh. So that was like, where do you know that bitch diet food, man? Because I was eating chicken and rice. Like, motherfucker. Thanks for, the, thanks for the fucking in, <laughs> for the fucking Hey, bro, that's, bit, that's what he used to eat. Yeah. Remember? But that's all I was eating was just chicken and chicken and rice, chicken and rice. But I mean, I leaned up real yeah, good, yeah. but I was trying to gain at the same time. And it was just, that was his, that was his, uh. That was his tip. <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating that bitch diet food. Eating that bitch diet food. <laughs> Man, I appreciate it. Fucking asshole. Yeah, he, uh, I ain't lying, bro. He he was on meal prep for, <laughs> for 486 weeks. <laughs> on the way. I think, I think he's preparing for that show still. <laughs> Fucking Leroy. asshole. 2030. It's your year, Leroy. <laughs> no, nah, but he is doing his thing. He yeah, moved. He, looks, he moved uh, companies. He looks, he looks good. He did. Uh, yeah. No homo. Uh, but he, he looks. He looks good, man. Yeah, bro. he's he's fucking badass, man. Like yeah. he knows his shit. Uh, I know he's coaching some some yeah. big time people. Yeah, I've seen that. But he's not with um, Red Redcon. 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 Yeah, not? I saw uh-uh. that. I saw that not too long ago. You you remember that that uh, supplement company Animal? Yeah. That guy that was always in black and white. Wasn't it that, that Evan, Andro, like way back then? It was like Andro. Androgen or some shit. Andro like 19 or some shit. When it first came out, it had like fucking tiger on the label. Oh, no. Oh, it, it was all oh, animal. Okay. Like animal. Remember, it just said animal. Oh, the, the animal. black animal. Oh, the yeah. black label. Okay. Yeah. Too. Well, anyways, that guy that was the main, um, fuck, I don't know, endorser, he started his own company and he wanted Leroy to go work for him. That's oh, badass. So, yeah, he, Leroy yeah. went to go work for him. I wish I can. I wish I would stop lying and just tell you the name, but I don't know the name. Swarm, I think. Fuck, I don't know. I don't Swarm. Know. It's a new. It's a new supplement oh, really? company. Yeah. Huh. You fuck with energy drinks? Yeah, every day. <laughs> for real? I get up at what four kind of monster? And I heard those are real bad for your heart, man. Not mine. <laughs> it can't get any worse. You, you fuck with energy drinks? <laughs> when I'm on the road, I, I'll fuck with a Red Bull or something. Red oh, Bulls don't do yeah, shit to me. Red Bulls are real bad for your heart. Well, I yeah, mean, my mind's kind of shitty too. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. <laughs> you only live one life, fucker. <laughs> so, so there's that. So let me live. <laughs> but shit, I'll I'll drink a cup of coffee and a Red Bull. Damn, cause God that's damn, a lot of bro, that's a lot bro, of I, caffeine. I, I get up at four in the morning, and then and then I throw cases at Coke, at the stores. Oh, are you? Oh, you're, del- you're delivering? No. Oh, Monsters? No, I'm uh, merchandising. Oh, Monsters oh, oh. Coca-Cola? I'm an order, order merchandiser. Oh, okay. Yeah. What uh-huh. happened with Coke not too long ago? What are you talking about? Cocaine? What happened? That's all. That's all. That's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say soda, stupid? It's a different kind of... Because uh, we didn't get a... Like, for a week, we didn't get no thing, nothing from Coke. I guess they're... I don't know what happened. But then all of a sudden, we had to get, like, three truckloads uh, in one way, one day. I don't know. Yeah, I thought I don't it was. Know. I thought I'm not, it was I'm not in manufacturing. It's only I'm it's only a matter of time before all these companies go transgender and oh. and Anheuser Busch type shit. You think so? Do you see what Target did? Oh, I saw what Target oh, did. Oh, I saw what they yeah. did too. Uh, it's it's supposedly some like social credit score type shit where um, they're gonna start that shit here too, n- like no, in China. Like no, it, it's a uh, it's like for businesses though. Oh, okay. so they they could give a fuck about losing money, like they're worried about this whole credit score for businesses now, because um, if they don't meet a certain score, they stop getting funded by whoever's funding all this shit. Really? Mm-hmm. Damn. So that's why they don't give a fuck. Hmm. And then there's a conspiracy theory that said that um, this. This is uh, basically us making our country into uh, a communist country. Yeah. Because we're boycotting our own uh, Anheuser Busch. That's more American than anything, you know what I mean? And Target too. And now we're going to boycott them, and they'll fade away, and we ain't going to have shit. And then the Communist Party comes in here, and that's a conspiracy theory. But that's yeah. still scary to fucking think about, man. You don't think that boycotting will fade away? Like I know when when that happened with Bud Light, it was like a big deal. But you don't think people are just kind of like slowly are forgetting about it and then just going back to drinking what they were drinking. Let me ask you this: Have you seen people drink Bud Light since then? Because I haven't. I mean, Ultra. 
Bud Light. I've seen chicks carrying Bud Light in their baskets. Yeah. yeah. They're probably buying I, it for their I, husbands. I, I, I can't answer that question because I, I, I don't think I don't think that it will it will like hey hey babe stay like you're saying. I think it'll fade. When you go to yeah. Walmart, buy me some Bud Light, okay? Un Bud Light, <laughs> un tall boy. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I haven't mm. seen people fuck with Bud Light, but I don't know. I just think it's one of those things that it's gonna fade away eventually. But you got to think go about all the fuck the fuckery that that people are doing yeah they're boycotting it because they're feeling strong about you know one way or the other right mm-hmm. but what about the delivery drivers what about the warehouse employees like you yeah, fuck the paycheck that's what i'm saying like they're getting laid off because oh, they took okay, like I got you. all this like billions of dollars like they they are getting laid off oh i ain't heard no layoffs. no for real yeah for real? yeah i didn't hear nothing about no layoffs. yeah mm-hmm. they they lost like 30 billion dollars yeah they they've laid off some fools because of that oh no shit yeah Damn. So you're like, fuck. Oh, damn. So you take back your fuck them statement or you're still fuck them? Fuck who? <laughs> fuck who? The drivers and the warehouse employees. I didn't say fuck them. I said they're getting a paycheck. Yeah, fuck right, the fuck company. Them. They're getting a co- <laughs> God. I didn't say fuck them. Can I calm down? God damn. <laughs> no, nah, man, but. I, I, it's scary, man, because I don't know where this fucking country is going to go, man. I really don't. And that, that shit starting in uh, July. The fucking yeah, that damn, the Fed bro. now. Yeah, so. the what? So everything, everything that any cent, any dollar that you spend, whether it's through like um, your debit card or um, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, it's all gonna go through Fed now. What is that? It's gonna be a cash. It's gonna be a Big Brother's watching uh, mm-hmm. cash monitoring system. Really? Yeah. So so if you're buying ammo, this Fed now is going to keep track of everything you buy. Just buy cash. You can't. The cash is supposed to go away. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I don't, it's, it's, it's scary, man. I mean, How true sorry. it is, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll that, find that's out when the we get theory. Start, better start buying ammo now. Well, I mean, that's that's not the thing, though, you know, like. How are you gonna pay that kid that comes door to door to yeah. your house? Cash app. That mm-hmm. yeah, but Cash App goes through Fed now. Yeah, it's all uh, gonna go through. It's all gonna yeah. go through that. So and then to your bank, right? Mm-hmm. It's Fed now and then to your bank. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Fed, Fed, all the banks, every bank. So you know Venmo and all that. Yeah. That's a bank. Yeah, is gonna go through Fed now. Mm-hmm. July first, yeah. right? Yeah. July first. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. bro, it's crazy. And that's scary, man. It's it's fucking scary to have the government in your fucking pocket bro yeah. and it's crazy right. that a lot of people don't fucking know about it yeah no nah, i didn't know go about. go i think it's go to fednow.gov i don't mm. fucking tell you yeah. starting july 1st that every transaction is gonna go you through. haven't gotten shit from your bank about uh-huh. explaining shit well i don't read that kind of shit i guess i should no. <laughs> you really don't give a fuck <laughs> right? that's hey. a whole new level hey. hey they probably just sent it to me this motherfucking got no money anyway so it doesn't matter <laughs> i got 12 cents bitch <laughs> Cut your life first. We're going to go ahead and end this. <laughs> right. Get this off. What you going to stop? <laughs> you my Burger stop? King order? As soon as I get my checks, it's all gone. What's the matter? Fuck. Y'all take it all anyway, uh, fuckers. <laughs> you want to take a break? You want to, yeah? Yeah, let's take a break. Nah, we're back. <laughs> um, Real quick. When you had hair. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever use LA Looks? Yeah. Yeah, I back think, when I was I a kid. I think we all fucked with the LA blue looks. The blue and the pink one? It, I, all colors. Yeah, it was all colors, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, you know, uh, uh, you put it on, then a couple hours later, it'd be all white. Yeah. No way. For real? You I don't thought that, that was moose. Nah, it was, it was flake real bad. Yeah. LA looks did that? Yeah. When girls would mess up your hair after you fixed it? <laughs> Hey, no. uh, you remember? Okay. <laughs> hey, you remember when Roy Martinez used to? Uh, <laughs> Roy Martinez got got in trouble in elementary school because uh, he would ask to go use the restroom. Hey, man, can I use the restroom? She's like, Yeah, I'll go. He come back, bro. His, his hair be all wet. I'm talking dripping so, wet. And he sit down. She finally figured out that he was going to the restroom to fix his hair. For <laughs> you don't remember that? Puto. No, man. <laughs> yeah. Do Do you remember going asking for permission to use the restroom? And then passing by your friend's uh, uh, classroom in the doorway and just be acting yeah. an ass in the hallway. <laughs> Everybody laughing. <laughs> uh, teacher be like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, my bad. 
<laughs> and go to the restroom. <laughs> no, but I think I had one bottle of LA Looks from first grade through sixth grade. <laughs> God, you remember God. that? It lasted like fucking forever. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that squeeze bottle. I don't remember it flaking though. No, nah, nah. It was a squeeze bottle because I, I remember it being, it being a, jar. a jar. Yeah, yeah. And you reach your hand in there and get a big old goop out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they had the jars, but then they also had that squeeze bottle. It, oh, okay. it was like um, like lotion kind of sorta. Oh, yeah. Mm. But I fucked with LA looks the whole yeah my whole ride. Yeah, you don't remember it flaking real bad. Mm -mm. I never huh? had it. A, a problem with it flaking. Really? Mm -mm. Yeah, man. Because I took showers. <laughs> <laughs> That was fucking dandruff, that, right? Because <laughs> I took showers, I washed it out, cabrón. Oh yeah, that was from the day before. My bad. <laughs> Dude, when my son was young, fucking a, bro. Uh, and I, I don't know if this is every kid. Maybe you might you might give me some insight on this. But dude, when he was young, like elementary, dude, this mother. If we didn't like on his ass to wash his ass he probably took a shower like once a month dude yeah yeah man like when's the last time he took a shower hey bro and then he's all oh uh, yeah that's too long fucker hey, my son this is my son's 22 so if you listen to this, he's gonna kick my ass but <laughs> i don't give a fuck so anyway uh what do you call it started noticing man that that his hair was was flaking real bad and i'm like dude you don't take a bath yeah i am i was like all right as soon as you wash your hair call me i'm gonna come check you God dang, <laughs> twenty. <laughs> no, not twenty. Not right now, put on. <laughs> when he was a kid. Let me see your hair. <laughs> nah, man. When he was little. I need to see the soap. He's checking body. him for pure. <laughs> <laughs> He's twenty. <laughs> they call me that motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, you got a lot of experience with that, no? You, you got, you're in there with Q-tips. Hey, hey, you remember that chick in elementary school that would that would. Uh, she would kill her piojos and then Dude, leave them right there on the desk. I just told somebody that. You don't remember that? I just told somebody that. She was fucking, uh, she would go like this, bro. They said they knew her. For real? And I was like, yeah, well, did you know this about her? And they were like, oh, <laughs> no, we never knew hey, that. Bro. She would go like He's this, man. <laughs> and she'd be pulling them out of her hair, bro. And she'd be popping them like that and leaving them on or, the desk. Or yeah. or she would use like, the back of her nail and, and, and pop them on the desk. On the desk and just leave them there. Like in school? Just yeah. What the and fuck? didn't give two fucks And bro. didn't care who was watching Because we were all like You we're like, nasty bitch You was, was fucking nasty <laughs> I think today's a good day Sir to have the nurse come check us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Miss This bitch dirty <laughs> oh, But man. yeah no, uh, no but back to my story uh, When he was little bro Not not now When he was little he Well was you like, didn't specify You just right, said he's was, 20 And then I you busted off Into that yeah, story know, uh, My bad He said 22 My bad <laughs> My bad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, um, he called me. He was like eight years old. He called me to the restroom. I went in there. Well, his fucking hair was, wasn't was clean, bro, because he was doing this. Just the, the rest, back. Just the back. <laughs> and he didn't have no hair because he had a fade. I was like, bro, what are you what are you washing? I got to get this hair that just got cut. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Wash his fresh cut off. <laughs> but, yeah, we had to make him take a bath too, bro. D dude, yeah. like. Anytime you had to stop and think how long it, that's too long. Bro. Yeah, when was last time you took a bath? Shower. Uh, <laughs> go take a shower. I can smell you from here. Go it's take like, a bro, shower. Why are you afraid of water? Fuck. <laughs> 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 and then he got to the point where he would just go in there and wet his hair and then come out. Come here, let me smell your hair. I'll go take a shower. <laughs> God damn. Roy Martinez said he would do that, bro. For real? We would be in junior high, and he said he hated taking a shower, and that his parents would obviously make him take a shower. Uh, and he said we were in junior high, and he said this when he when we were in elementary. He was already washing his ass in junior high. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, he said that he would turn on the water and sit on the toilet for like ten minutes, yeah, and like looking at a magazine and shit, and then wet his hair and come out. And I'm yeah. like, why didn't you just wash your ass, right? man? Like, <laughs> Nasty fucker. Rub one out. Yeah. Did you ever do that, Aiden? Put the water on. Did you ever do that? Rub one out? Yeah, you do that. No, no, I mean, I know that. I sent a video. I sent a video. He got the video. Oh, yeah, all the time. Tell me, you ever take a shower? Or they make you take a shower when you were a kid? No? Oh, okay. Did. They didn't have to tell they didn't my They didn't tell ass. me, you know. I was, no. I was in there yeah. fucking day, at night and in the morning. Yeah. Uh, 
I had a, a real bad, like, the ring around the collar. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, my mom would, like, fucking scrub, scrub the, the shit, of your shit out of my neck. And then next fucking day, sweat just be, the, the collar just be dirty as fuck again. And, yeah, so I lived in that fucking shower yeah. every fucking day. Damn. I was just a nasty motherfucker, ring, I guess, when I was a kid. Ring around your neck. <laughs> You played hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I don't. I'm glad you made me feel good because that motherfucker never wanted to take a shower. Yeah, man. It's uh, boys in general, bro. Nasty fucker. Especially nowadays, shit. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? The this generation. And then uh, he hated closed doors. Hated it. So he took a shower with the door open? He took a shit with the door open. Oh, he that. hated closed doors, dude. Oh, that yeah, was yeah. his biggest fucking fear. Really? Yeah. And then, um, like, he became so, a man because he went so to he junior high. Like being at Chapman Field. He went to junior high, and all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, he liked closed doors, <laughs> closed locked doors. Closed lock- <laughs> And then I was like, well, he became a man. Yeah, became a yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> there goes that. that <laughs> there goes that phobia of closed doors. He's <laughs> rubbing them on out. <laughs> you remember you were afraid of closed doors? Not no more, man. Not no more. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of my room. <laughs> Why is all my lotion disappearing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh shit. Yeah. Hopefully he don't listen to this episode. Uh, well, he's got a lot of time on his <laughs> hands. Talking about me, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Shout out your son, Adam. The right. <laughs> <laughs> I really was like, you, you like twenty years old. You gotta check his head. You fuck is he slow? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. My bad. Um, I had another topic that I wanted to talk about, but um. Let's see. When you get out of the shower, since we're on the shower subject, how how well, how do you well, get dressed first? How do you get dressed fresh out of the shower? Put on my underwear, fool. Underwear first. Yeah. And then. What are you talking? About? You put on all your clothes and then your socks last, or then underwear socks. Underwear socks. Is that how you do it? Mm. I mean, I'm. I dry. First. Yeah, of course. Hey, of course, hey, dry. you dry. You probably air dry, huh? Oh no! You, you walk by the. By hey, the I, I, I take pictures first. You, you, <laughs> you walk by the mirror glistening in the fucking <laughs> in your room. Right <laughs> you ever see the soap fall down the crack of a man's? Why the fuck you come out of shower all swole? <laughs> You pushing, dude, push ups in the shower. What the fuck? He's like, I don't know how to towels. I air dry. <laughs> you get that pump from? God yeah. damn, Major, put that dick away. Fuck. <laughs> We're roommates. Fuck, dude. I don't want to see that shit no more. Anyways, how do you get? How do you get dressed? <laughs> I drive first and then uh, chonies and then uh, shorts and then or whatever. Socks last? I don't really. I, dude, I'm, I'm sandals. I don't put my. It's yeah. So fucking hot. Yeah, so fucking I, won't, hot. I won't wear no socks. So you go to work with, with sandals on? Until like, no, when I go to work, I, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I got some real thick ass uh, freezer socks. Oh, okay. So I wait till I do my. Well, if you're talking about the whole morning thing, I do the, the breakfast bullshit, but I'm in shorts with. I'm just. Fresh, bro. So you take a shower way early because you got time oh, to I, fucking. No, when I when I go to work early in the morning now or gym in the morning, I'll shower at night, and then I oh, get okay. up, and then when I come back, and then I'll shower. I have to shower first thing in the morning because well, you, if I don't, you sweat I'll, just sitting there. Well, no, not only that, but I won't be awake. The shower will wake me up. Oh, okay. okay. But I ask all these questions because you really never knew how much of a fat ass you are. Until you have to put on socks without a, a couch or a bed. <laughs> hey, you remember Fat Tony? Oh, yeah, the, the <laughs> restaurant Fat Tony? <laughs> hey, bro, we went to go eat at Fat Tony's. It was a little restaurant downtown. And there's this big-ass fat dude, man. His name's Tony. You know yeah. what I mean? Fucking huge. His restaurant was called Fat Tony's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, he's fucking huge, right? And he's, he's the cook. He's the fuck. He does everything by himself. Yeah. 
And uh, we're sitting there eating, man, and he's over there talking to us, and he's, he's drinking Coke out of his Coke machine. He's all you're talking to us and shit. You know, we're laughing and stuff, and he looks down, and we both look down, and his fucking shoe's untied. He's like, like, fuck, <laughs> I got to tie my shoe, <laughs> right? And so he puts his drink down, and me and JP are eating. We're looking at him. This motherfucker goes down, and he's over there tying his shoe, bro. And he comes up. He goes, <gasps> this motherfucker almost died. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> me, and, me and JP were like, <laughs> I'm looking at JP and like, don't fucking laugh, dude. Don't fucking laugh. God damn. We, we, had, a, we had a buddy, uh, a, a young white kid that worked with us. We always fucked with him, man. And uh, we went to, everyone asked us, where y'all going to go eat at? We're like, go eat at Fat Tony's today. So they all went to Fat Tony's and they're waiting for us. And we all walked in, and the, the the dude Ryan, the little white kid that walked in, uh-huh. uh, every all the of the buddies that were waiting for us, they were all Tony. <laughs> 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 oh, They're like, "Oh, you're not Tony." Yeah, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you <y'all. laughs> <laughs> No, man. But um, so we went to that uh, hype. Oh, fuck! I just lost the. It was at a hyperbaric chamber uh, restore. That's what it's called. Okay. On uh, Milwaukee in like 76th or something. So we went to the um, where it, it was like negative 200 degrees in there. And you're mm-hmm. in there for like two minutes. And, dude, it was so badass. But anyways, there's this – it's just a little changing area with, with just a, a little like a hamper that you – pull your socks out of and they were like yeah put those socks on and those slippers and he was like put those socks over your socks and i was like where do i sit down <laughs> like you know, where's a chair or a bench need, need. <laughs> and so my big ass is putting on a sock standing up and i was i was fat tony <gasps> well, I had a i'm about to fucking die <laughs> <laughs> Where's my wife? <laughs> Can you help me, sir? <laughs> oh shit, man! That was the fucking. That was the hardest shit, dude. God, I, was, I was in there struggling for like two minutes. Fucking put them on. I came out all soothed out. Like I just had a workout and shit. <laughs> So I'm glad I'm going into this negative 200 degrees shit. Did you come out with icicles and shit from all your sweat? <laughs> no, dude. Um, like, they say cold plunges. You're supposed to do, like, three minutes of cold plunge a day. I believe that shit because I was in there, and they check your temperature. You're, like, 97.6 or whatever. You're in there for three minutes, and I think it goes to negative 200 degrees, and you're cold, man. But, you know, you you, you don't want to be no bitch and say, I want to get out of here. So you go somewhere, your happy place, find it, whatever. Yeah, bro, then you fucking come out, and he puts the gun on your skin. And I went down 33 degrees. God damn. Yeah, because I was like, uh, like low 70s. Really? And he was, he said I was right at the cutoff because if you go like lower than that, you can fuck up your body or something. Oh. But he said I was good. And all this shit, because I have real bad shoulder. Dude, my shoulder didn't hurt for like two or three days. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. And it's restore um, if you want to look into it. You should I, go look at a, go work at a, in a freezer. Yeah. Um, fuck that. But <laughs> look at him. He's like, he's looking at you like, you pay for that shit? <laughs> I get paid to go in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's cold, man. It's cold. Man. Yeah. He was like, what? You tell him what song you want to play or whatever, or what playlist you want, and he'll he'll even put it on your phone to hook it up, and it's just blasting, and it you're just chilling and you're just breathing in. And it's just like cold smoke coming out of your your lungs. Yeah. It was cool, man. It was cool, but no shoulder issues for like two or three days. Shit, when I walk into the freezer when I was supervising or helping out with the freezer over there at the McLean's, mm-hmm. and I had to go ask somebody a question or, or get something done, I'd, yeah. I'd walk in there with nothing on, bro. And, dude, three feet in, bro, it just feels like something's just covering over you, dude. Like, just, yep. just hugging you, and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden you're fucking cold, like. Get me out of here. Yeah. Like, I'm over there fucking looking for the button to make the fucking door open so I can get out of there, dude. It's fucking cold. Yeah. When, I work, when I worked at Cisco with Adrian, uh, I worked in the fridge in the, what was it? The 
the freezer, cooler. the cooler. The cooler. But I never worked in the freezer because they didn't have a suit big enough to fit my ass. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you never worked in the cooler. Yeah. yeah. The cooler was the hardest place to stack, though. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you had to go to the freezer with, like, your freezer suit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you know, they didn't have one in 10X. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> like Goddamn 10X. Goddamn, they didn't have one in tent. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we went to... Uh, Cabo, I think I told you this before, uh, for the spa, they fucking bring me this robe and shit. They're like, this one should fit you. And I'm like, yeah. fucking, it came to like here. <laughs> and, they yeah, were, <laughs> and then they were like, uh, no, you, you couldn't take off your underwear. And I was like, fuck you, man. This robe don't even close, man. Like, <laughs> You got another one for my front? <laughs> one for my back, one for my front? You a fucking diaper? Like, this fucking... Uh, <laughs> This, you, warm, something. you know Mexican clothing is like Chinese clothing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ten X and it's still like a two X in 2X. America. <laughs> like No, this one should fit I need two of these motherfucker. <laughs> 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 yeah man, fuck that. Sorry fucks. Don't be big, I guess. <laughs> trying try not to, man. Sure. <laughs> Oh shit, man! But yeah, that's why I asked because that fucking whole sock situation just had me all fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for laughing at Fat Tony. This motherfucker, he was like, <clears throat> he looked at me, he was like, <clears throat> I was like, I, I looked at him like, don't laugh, bro. Dude, I didn't laugh. That was you, fucker. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was you. We left there, bro. We couldn't stop laughing all the way back to work. <laughs> but he did have a like the uh, fuck yeah, look on his face. He looked, down, like, <laughs> he looked down. He was like, <laughs> it's like a whole job in itself. Huh? Hey, I'm telling you, he almost died, bro. <laughs> he came back. He was like, <gasps> <gasps> like. God damn that was a good ass restaurant though. It was, man. It was fucking yeah. badass. Oh, yeah. He brought he brought in uh Chicago, was it Vienna? Chicago dogs. Vienna, right? Yeah. He brought all the hot dogs in from Chicago and then the burger meat from Chicago too. Yeah. And then he had a Philly cheesesteak. He that was, was all good. Chicago. Oh, awesome. Like yeah. all Chicago. And then he graduated tech with like his masters and then said fuck the restaurant. He, sold he was it. out. He sold it, he was out. I think it's a shoe store now. Yeah. 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 It's on Main Street. Yeah. Main and I don't, what is that? Avenue. I don't K. Know. K. I think. Yeah, yeah. K. Main and K. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it was. That shit was funny, though. And then I think, uh, what the fuck was there? Lee's. Lee's Cafe, Lee's was, Cafe there. was there. Yeah. And that was fucking good, too. Yeah. Then they fucking went to shit. Yeah. He's at, I think he's at a seafood joint now, right? It's Lee's Cafe and it's uh, Seafood Shack, Royal Seafood Shack. It's, it's both in one. And it's the same? Yeah. Have you ever had that? Mm-hmm. But you I never think, had Lee's? I think they're doing yeah. too much because it's all down. Oh, yeah. Down. yeah. It was some good ass shit, dude. Yeah. There's a, a spot over there that we go to. It's a fucking the Seafood Boils. I wanted to come down and bring your ass to, to one. That oh, time, I know, man. Busy. Um, We're at... Here in Lubbock or over there? Well, there's one over there's uh, like Comal crawfish or something like that. But man, that seafood boil is a shit. I don't, I don't do crawfish. I don't fuck with it. But you don't? Nah, they have like a crab boil, and that's just so fucking good. I took my son over there. <laughs> I took Christian over there, <laughs> and he's like, hey, "Dad, is it supposed to be crunchy like this?" And I was like, "He's in the show. What, what is he eating, man? <laughs> the whole fucking shrimp." <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, son, take that shit out, man. You eat nothing like a poor shrimp. you eating his feet and shit, too, man. God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Go ahead and tell that your mouth, man. Shit. God. Dude, yeah, he was eating the whole thing. He's like, all choking. Oh, damn. <laughs> He's like, he's like, big fucking eyes b- b- Pretty ass fish Nice ass fish like, Big fucking eyes I this shit I was like, you ain't ever eaten shrimp before? I don't think I've ever eaten a boil before And I was like, it's just a regular shrimp Peel that shit, man God, that damn. shit off You ain't never been to Hong Kong Buffet I thought you were going to say that she was, he was eating the crab like that Oh, no <laughs> Like, they ain't breaking teeth That was the first time eating that shit, too yeah. He liked it, yeah, he enjoyed it It was real good Why don't you fuck with crawfish? Because they're dirty I just I think that's too much work for a fucking little bitty piece of meat, man. I see, like so, so a crab is crab the same way. Nah, it's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. I just and pop, mess and messy pack too. That motherfucker and just. I I love it all. I, yeah. I mean yeah. I I like I it. I, I'll, I I'll do it, but I mean it's the same thing. I like crawfish. Yeah, but crawfish is just a little bitty piece of meat. 
I don't know. To me, I don't like that. I have a brother-in-law that uh, does the crawfish for United. Mm-hmm. And every, like, I'm sure it's the last weekend since I've mentioned it, but every weekend for, like, four or five weeks, he's been saying, like, uh, Hey man, I need to move like thirty pounds for I got it for like a dollar ninety nine a pound. Goddamn. He's like, I got it ninety nine cents a pound if you know anybody. And I never know anybody like that would take it off of his hands. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. But I know that that shit is like gold. Yeah. Cause it goes fast. Is it cooked or no? You have to cook no it? raw. I really? mean live, live, live. Not live. Raw. Yeah. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Well, didn't Eric do that? Yeah, yeah, but like I'm saying, like when he texts me that, I don't know anybody that's gonna like right off the yeah go yeah. buy it and fucking broil it. Yeah. Or boil it, sorry. Yeah. It's like that crap, like this season, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they, they fucking sell these big ass jugs of the seasoning. Like big ass fucking. The boil seasoning? Yeah, the yeah. boil seasoning, man. It's fucking dirty. I, I seen this uh, dude on TikTok that says he don't use water for his boils. What does he use? The Tampico orange juice. Oh, really? really? Mm hmm. Damn. He uses like three gallons of it and then all the seasoning. And then that's how he makes the boil, but he don't use water. And he said that that's all the difference. And then Eric, some homeboy of Eric told Eric to put Brussels sprouts in the in the boil. Shit, that went first, bro. That went before all the seafood, the Brussels sprouts. That's, that's yeah. good, Shit. man. Yeah, because it retains all the all the seasoning from the water. Is it good? And fuck, dude. For real? Fuck, yeah. Nah, I need to try that. Yep. That's crazy. He goes, he goes it's going to sound gross, but put Brussels sprouts in, in your boil. And dude, everybody wanted the Brussels sprout. And he had lobster tails in there. People wanted the Brussels sprouts over the lobster tail. God damn. For real. Fuck. It was some good shit. Yeah. Yeah. You try that. Yeah. Uh it was fuck, it was good. But yeah, I don't I don't know anybody that does boils like on a constant basis. Yeah. Yeah. Drop but I, I do fuck with crawfish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. We're good. Yeah. I fuck with all with it all. Like, if if a gorilla's asshole was in there, I'd probably eat it too. Uh, Good seasoning. That's a little. Yeah. God damn. A little nice Bro. seasoning. I mean, yeah, but you like that, that ring nasty. around the rosies. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> that? That came out of that way. Talking about bottom feeder. <laughs> I got gorilla's asshole two ninety nine a pound. <laughs> God damn! They said an asshole like that. God damn! You just gonna eat that? This this gorilla just ate some corn. <laughs> you can stew it, saute <laughs> it, <laughs> butter. <laughs> 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 asshole salad, asshole gumbo. <laughs> nasty, oh bro. man! Nasty. Oh, fuck, man! Uh, <laughs> will you have any shout outs, brother? Uh, just my kids, man. Uh, you know, they're doing their thing, trying to, trying to make everything happen, man. Dude, shout, shout out to you, bro. Appreciate that, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Fuck shout yeah. out to everything you're doing, man. Uh, I gotta say, much thanks to both of y'all fuckers, man. Yeah. Every week, man. It's like, you know, I don't ask for it, but I can count on y'all sharing my shit, and it means the fucking world to me, man. Oh, both yeah. of y'all, man. Yeah, man. Fuck no yeah. Yeah, man, but shout out to these young kids, man, because this world is kind of fucked up right now, man. Yeah. And, uh, it might get worse. It's scary to to know or to see that what the future holds for these kids, man, and the we got to make the best for them, I guess. But, I mean, shout out to all them, man. Shout out to your kids. Shout out to your kids. My baby over there. My yeah. baby that you already it's messed up her ears. <laughs> <I heard you. laughs> Come on, man. Hey, man, and I held it back. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I was like, are you sure, bro? T- today would have been a totally different episode <laughs> if you came by yourself, cabrón. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's lying, baby. Our listeners got the tame version right? of yeah. today's episode. <laughs> I should be back soon, man. She, I should be back soon. She's like, you held back? God damn. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe we got to come pick her up in like two weeks. Oh, fuck yeah. So maybe, maybe, I mean, if you don't have anything going on. Or, I'm always down to have you on, bro. Yeah. We'll yeah. We can sit down and do it again. Fuck yeah. We'll do a four-way. We'll do, oh. <laughs> we get Thomas we'll, back in here. We'll do the, we'll do the rated, <laughs> R, beige, R, rated <laughs> R version. We're going to get the old circuit jerk going. Yeah, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> Adrian, you got any shout-outs, brother? 
It's my kids, man. My kids, my family, my mom, sis. All the special Shout people. Shout out to I have your mama, man. Shout out to your mom. Yeah, yeah, the close people I have in my life right now, man. It's everything's going, you know, going. Shout out right. to your sister, man. She's doing her thing, bro. Yeah, and I'm so proud of that girl, bro. And she's. Our kids are, are well. One of them is like really good in football, right? Yeah. Well, they're both they're both balling, man. But one of them is sticking with it. You know, Z. He's, he's, yeah. Uh, he's doing a camp right now. That uh, yeah, that's what I saw a picture of. Yeah, he's doing a camp right now. Yeah. Uh, Zaren, he was with us at the pool just a little earlier, so he's. He's doing good. He uh, he sent me a picture of a uh, Jordan Reds because I actually got a pair. And uh, he fucking sent me a picture. He was like, "Oh, we're what do you say? We're twins or we're matching?" Oh, he got him. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "We're matching now," and I was like, "Dude, that's badass." I man. thought he sent you a picture like, "Hey, I want these." <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, deal. Hey, deal. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You can wait till you go. You can have these. I don't know. You're the one with all the fucking money, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, man, my sister's doing her thing, you know. Fuck but. yeah, dude. Shout out to your mom, though. Shout out to your sister, bro. Shout yeah. out to Addy. Oh, yeah, my baby over there. Yeah. <clears throat> Acting like she don't hear the bad words, but she hears them all. Come on, she's probably heard worse. <laughs> yeah, shout dude, out she to goes mom, to Cooper, man. bro. She heard worse. Your mom and your sis, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to them, man. Um, your little niece. Yep. I want to, of course, shout out my mom, shout out my sister, but uh, I really want to shout out my wife. She's going to be again at Two Docks this Friday at that first Friday art trail. Okay. Oh. So if y'all ain't got shit to do, hop on over there and check out her art. She's got two big ass pieces that she really worked hard on that she's really proud of. And uh, uh, I'm not saying that I that I hope they sell, but I people need to see it, man. It's a pretty, they're both pretty. Yeah. They're That's both badass. badass but yeah. Shout out to her. Shout out to everyone listening, man. Uh, shout out to all you guys, man. You guys got me to 10,000 downloads in one year, man. That's fucking phenomenal. And I, yeah. I don't take that at all very lightly. It's just take it to my heart. Like, thank you, guys. Um, I wanted to shout out One for the Road podcast. Uh, they're all 806, bro. And um, I know Emilio and uh ram they are john john's neighbors oh no shit yeah okay so they used to like help us get john john ready for the tailgate or they would go tailgate yeah. or they would help john john like get ready for his parties or his yeah. boxings and all this shit so they'd always be around so of course i'm you know good friends with them but then when they started the podcast dude it's good dude oh yeah it's it's all yeah. it's all 806 I've, I've dude. Heard of, I've yeah, heard of it. it's yeah. a good podcast man it. So shout out to them, one for the road, and shout out to all the John Eric Media, Pandejos every Friday. Um, thank you guys, man. Till next time, we'll see y'all. Read some books. Peace. Oh hey, didn't see you there. This episode is brought to you by DJ Kipo. DJ Kipo handles all things like weddings, quinceañeras, anniversaries, and graduations. Um, he's good at what he does. Keeps the party going, and um, Hit him up on IG, TikTok at DJ Kipo 806. Once again, that's DJ K E E P O 806. Oh, it's you again. This episode is brought to you by Patriot Paint and Construction. They specialize in commercial and residential. They also specialize in drywall and paint. No job is too big or too small for them. Hit them up at 806 544 7199. Oh, you're still here? This episode's brought to you by Tigre Burrito, located at 720 Highway 62 in Wolford, Texas. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. They specialize in breakfast and lunch burritos. They've also got some plates. Um, tell them JP Lopez sent you, but um, breakfast burritos pretty fucking huge, so you better bring a big appetite. They're the shit.